you travel on an airplane, you need to open up uh, a book or your laptop or whatever to work on during the trip. And someone looks over your shoulder and says, oh, gee, what is that? And then you say, well, that's, you know, that's my work. Oh, so what do you do? Oh, um, and they are like, oh, are you a mathematician? And then, of course, the, the, the answer is yes, I am. My name is Małgorzata Paszynska. I go by Małgo, and there is a store around this. When I came to this country, people would read my name tag, and they would go Małgo, and they would stop there because they couldn't pronounce the rest of my name. So this is how I became Małgo. <laughs> When you're sailing, the feeling of freedom, you're on the edge. Ocean sailing that I mentioned, it's hard, you know, not the comfort, but it's the discomfort. I thought it was such a waste of time to just walk, so I would read a book with it, and people always, I mean, neighbors kind of made fun of me in a, in a good way, that, oh, how many books did you take with you just so you wouldn't be too bored walking from the bus stop? I was just a voracious reader, and in a way, math was like video games for me, puzzles. I see math as the language of everything. Simulations of fluid flow through pore scale of porous media using sophisticated visualization tools. Multi-phase, multi-component, coupled systems at multiple scales, both spatial and temporal scales, describe a lot of natural phenomena in the world. So some people call this, this type of work underground mathematics. I can just watch them and watch them forever. There is a time to explore your out-of-work interests and there is a time to um, focus on the work and then family. There's this concept of 10,000 hours, right? That you have to spend doing something to be good at, right? And uh, I always tell them, I'm still working on to be accepted to be a professional basketball player. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. And you would laugh at it, right? If you think about yourself in math, right? It's the same thing. Once you do your 10,000 hours, you will be an expert. And I think everybody's a mathematician at heart, even if they say they're bad at math.